Hello everybody and welcome back to Dana's Coloring Obsession. I hope you guys are all doing well and that you are having a great start to your weekend. Um, here is the page that we are doing for our Voted On Color Along. It's out of Maria Trolle's Botanicum. Um, first page I've ever done in here, so that'll be awesome. Um, I've set this up because we're going to be using chalk pastels and it's messy. So, <laughs> um, let me start off by showing you what kind of chalk pastels I use. I think I've showed you before, but these are my set of 64 Mungoy pastels. Um, the cover looks like this. They are actually very reasonable. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but they were on Amazon. Um, and there's a very good color range here. Um, there's no names or anything, so if you're going to swatch them, you know, put them in the order you want or whatever. I didn't even move them. This is how they come. So they're kind of scattered around a little bit, but I didn't mind. I just put left them in the order that they were on and then with my swatch chart, you know, just went in rows. But anyway, so I've got two colors that I'm going to be using that I, that I scratched off with my um, X-Acto knife here um, onto a palette. This is generally how I use the chalk pastels. Um, and it's the burgundy color and this pink color, these two that I'm using. Um, and we're just gonna kind of put them on here. Now, when you're using one of these kind of brushes that are kind of like just makeup brushes you can get on off Amazon, this one actually was called You Spicy. Um, that I got from a friend, um, Lottie. <laughs> she sent me a whole bunch of them because she doesn't use she didn't use them for her makeup, and she knew I used these brushes on some of my pages. So she gave me a whole bunch of these, but you can also get them in all shapes and sizes on Amazon for cheap. Um, not the use spicy ones but they're a generic brand. I don't think there's anything, I don't even remember what they're called. Anyways, you just look up makeup brushes. How did I look it up? I think I looked it up like makeup brushes for art or something like that. And they, these popped up a lot of people, a, a lot of people have bought these types of make, make, makeup brushes, words are hard, um, for this type of thing. So Amazon, I think, has them on the top of that kind of search. Anyways, enough of the chitter chat. I'm just going to go in straight away. Um, I don't have anything. Now, if you wanted to, you could use like drawing gum or that, you know, rub off, whatever it's called. Mine's called drawing gum um, that you can buy from Amazon to go over the image so that you don't get anything on it. But with chalk pastels, you can just erase. Um, <clears throat> the chalk really, really easily. So I'm not going to worry about getting it on the image. I mean, I'm going to try not to get it too messy if I can, <laughs> but, um, anyway, so I'm going to start with our dark, uh, no, you know what? I'm going to start with our lightest color. That way I don't have to get a different brush and all that. So I'm going to load the chalk into the brush in a circular motion on my palette here and kind of put just push it in and get it evenly distributed in there now when i was going to start saying this and i stopped when you use these brushes um it's it's a lot more even than say a makeup like a eyeshadow applicator or something but it's a lot lighter i've noticed so I'm just going to start here and pick some places where I'm going to put it. But see how light, I hope you can, you can't even barely see that. Um, see how light that is. Now I think you can take, I've seen Erica from Elm Colors, if you haven't uh, subscribe to her by the way on YouTube you need to do so she's also Elm Colors on Instagram 
she uses chalk pastels and she actually uses one of those circular makeup pads i'll show you now you can get them here they are um there's all kinds of them you know generic cheap brands you don't have to get expensive ones obviously but they're just like a circular cotton pad that these are the ones that i have um in my bathroom <laughs> um but you can get there's like a bag of a hundred for very cheap and i guess they last fairly long um, but erica just like folds it like this and directly off of the chalk itself or off of a palette and now i've never done this you guys so we're going to try i think because she gets a lot more pronounced results so i'm going to try it this way and see if I like it because I really want this to be darker. Yeah, that gives us a lot darker of a result. I love these brushes and they work extremely well with like distressed inks or um, distressed oxide because they apply the, the stuff very evenly. You just have to be careful at the beginning, but that's a process I can explain when we're using those. <laughs> so yeah, this is darker. So I'm gonna just pick some places that where I'm gonna put this pink with this makeup pad. And like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much about getting it on the image because I can erase it now there's a whole big line here I might try using an applicator um, an eyeshadow applicator as well to get in to this area here now you can also buy this right here from Amazon a crap ton <laughs> a metric butt ton sorry of um, eyeshadow applicators that are very soft and um, they're actually sponges on the tip. They're, it's not like a Q-tip or earbud, whatever you guys call it. Um, so, and it comes in this neat little case that clips together so you don't lose everything. Um, and I'm gonna try and see if I can use this to get in between these petals here. Yep. Chalk pastels are so much easier to use than a lot of the different mediums. <laughs> I love the oil pastels, but I just need so much more training, you know, trial and error with them before I use them with you guys. But yeah, there we go. So I'm going to stick that there and go back to my... My, my pad here and keep going now a little bit goes a long way so if you want to scratch off just a tiny bit and then scratch off more so you don't waste it that's probably smart um, so yeah let's see here Okay, and a tiny bit more. We're going to go over here. Just kind of go out from the side here. I hope you guys can see this light pink. You'll be able to see the burgundy when I do it, but this is pretty light. I hope my lighting is not dampering us too much I'm just trying to darken this up a little bit is all I'm doing you guys
using up the, the pink that I have on the palette here. All right, and then I'm gonna <clears throat> wrap this around again. Let me try to do this correctly. There we go. And get the, the burgundy color here. I'm a little nervous about this. It's pretty dark. And go to town with this. I'm going to go back over with the pink again. I'm going to shave some more off and bring it back so that it's darker. a little bit this way and I'm going to get more pink light pink and try to darken these areas up I still have a little bit left here on the palette Exacto knife, grab the light pink. And sorry if this squeaks or anything, I'm going to shave some off. Like so, super easy to do. Put the lid back on the Exacto knife so I don't injure myself. <laughs> and then, um, Go back to what I was dealing. Still using the light pink. All right, well, this is not as dark as I was hoping for. I think that's why I wanted to initially start with the oil pastels because it's so vibrant but I was so nervous, so we're doing a lighter background this time. <laughs> All right. to get in that edge there okay gosh I hope this looks okay on screen you guys from my point of view my screen it looks kind of not the same as it does in real life <laughs> okay now I'm gonna go in and see how this works I'm gonna go in with the brush and see if I can even it out a little bit getting some of the chalk out of the brush because I kind of loaded too much here of the pink. 
and I'm just gonna go and try to smooth it in a little more. So it blends a little better than it was. Little more. Okay, get some of the burgundy now. And blend her out a little more. Lots on brush. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, now I'm going to toss these. Actually, I only used a little bit of this. I'm probably going to save that. This one I'm not sure I'm going to save. Uh, to use again and get this out of the way. And I'm going to go through real quick and erase on the um, image real quick. Okay, now that I have eraser poop absolutely everywhere, let's jump in, shall we? Oh, it looks like I've got a little more on her face. So now we are going to be using some Black Widows because they have burgundies and whole bunches of pinks. In I have all of I have all of the Black Widow sets, um, and they're kind of intermixed. But I will tell you on the screen what I'm using, so don't worry about that. If you are going to follow along with Black Widows. If not, and you're using your own other set of pencils, that's obviously completely fine. But let me grab the burgundies and such. All right, so we are going to now do the center thing that she's sleeping on. Those petals. <clears throat> and I am going to be using, like I said, Black Widows. Let me arrange them correctly here from lightest to darkest. Okay, I have Burgundy SC77, which is the Scorpion set. I have Shiraz, which is in the Dragon set, DG158. And I have Watermelon, which is in the Black Widow set, BW57. Maiden Pink, which is in the Dragon Set, DG162, and Delicious Pink, which is in the Scorpion Set, SC41. So those are the pinks that I'll be using. And let me start with my darkest color. And I'm just gonna start down here. Small, very small circular motions, not too terribly hard. Lighter towards the top here. And then Shiraz.
and then a watermelon. And then we have Made in Pink. And then we have our lightest color, which is the Delicious Pink. And I'm actually going to go back over that. Um, I want my burgundy, the darker color, to be darker. Down yonder here. Charades. Watermelon. Um, made in pink. Yeah. For a second there, I thought it was out of order. <laughs> and then the delicious pink. Now I'm going to go back in with the Shiraz because I made a little bit of a line there and I need to fix it. Just light pressure over, oh, you can't see, I'm sorry. Just like that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being picky. Not quite dark enough for me at the base of the petal. All right. And then we're going to go through all of those and do just that on all of them. <laughs> I'll do a couple more with you. So we're starting with the burgundy. Here. And the Black Widows actually work really well in the Botanicum book, at least the one that I, the version I have. Um, I'm assuming that means the Black Widows work well on Maria Trolle books. If the paper's the same, we're going with Shiraz. Now, always remember to go to pushing light when you're going to the next color because it'll blend better that way. And I always seem to forget that step a little bit and make a line. <laughs> oh, watermelon. And made in pink. Whoops, sorry, I hit the mic. And then delicious pink. And again, I'm going to go back in with the darker colors because I really want the beginning of the petals to be dark. I really want that contrast there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back over twice because I just like the way it looks better.
Okay, and I'm gonna do all of those petals that way. Um, let's see, you know what? I never really figured out what I wanted to do with her outfit. Hmm. Okay, well, let's not do that today. Um, let's see, so let's do our stem. Um, I need to figure out what I want to do with these petals. I want them to be lighter than this, but not blend into our background. Do I want to do something dramatic? We'll see, but let's real quick do our stem. All right, so the stem is gonna be Black Widow's obviously. Um, and I've got here with me three colors. Um, we've got in the Black Widow set, Fang Green BW09, in the Scorpion set, Olive Green SC62, and in the Monarch set, we have Apple MN047. And I'm going to take the dark which is the fang green. Oh, and throw my pencil. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm just kind of do an outside edge thing here. Heavy pressure on the outside, lighter towards the inside. Make sure you guys can see. not down at where it should be my blotter all right and then on the other side as well harder pressure and then lighter towards the inside fanning in Okay, and then I'm gonna use my olive green. Go into that lighter area of the fang green and bring it out. Just a little bit, because we only have a little bit of real estate we're working with here. And then the lightest green goes down the middle and blends through the other greens a tad like so. Just kind of all over the whole thing and that just to me brings it together a lot better. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the tooth that I can still see. Sorry, just a second. 
I know you can't see. <laughs> Just blending. Just a blending. And there's our stem. Okay, I might because this pet because the background is pinks. Sorry. And the petals are going to be pink and everything. I might stick to a more limited color palette and do her grass. Her grass. <laughs> her dress green. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say cuz I don't really necessarily want to add in another color. We have we're already going to have her skin and her hair is probably going to be browns. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of iridescent watercolor from Paul Rubin um, on her wings. Okay, let's do one more petal with you guys up here so that you can see see you one more time we're gonna go in with the burgundy and I really want that deep dark rich color there and then the Shiraz Blend it out a little more with the burgundy because I've created a line again, Dana. And then go in with the watermelon if I can find it in my hand. And then the Maiden Pink. And then the Delicious Pink at the very end there. Okay, so um, that is gonna do it for today, you guys. I'm sorry, um, I only have limited amount of recording time. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we did the background. Um, go ahead and finish up all of these petals and then the stem and then on Monday I will come back and finish we'll do all of her and these petals and we'll be done um, actually we might do some speckling of either gold paint or something I might do a spray of some kind on the background we'll see Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We would really love to have you in our little growing community. And we have lots of fun stuff in store. And yeah, have a great rest of your weekend. And I will see you in the next video.